Okay, so blue states with a large population of immigrants like California are said to be deeply concerned with the way the Supreme Court looks to be possibly heading on the citizenship question. So let's bring in Democratic Congressman from California, John Garamendi. Great to have you with us tonight, sir. Good to be with you, Shannon. Okay, one of the things that came up today quite often at the court was the historical precedent here, the fact that from 1820 to 1950, this question was on the census every time but one. And in more recent years, it's been on the longer form or some of the other forms of the census. Um, you know, it, it's got historical backing. Why is it now, do you think, improper or illegal to ask the question? Well, I don't know if it's Ill illegal or improper, but I do know that there's something that, well, my wife was sharing with me, that is, you need to do this, or is it nice to do this? What we need to do is to count every person in the United States for many, many different reasons, and we can go into that for a few moments if you like. But that's the fundamental point of the census, is to count every person mm -hmm. who is in the United States. Uh, whether they are here legally or not, that's not the point of the census. Mm -hmm. Now, the question of citizenship has many other aspects to it, uh, some of which uh, deal with uh, rights uh, to, to vote, other kinds of uh, rights that a non-citizen would not have. But that's a different question. And if somehow the asking of that question of citizenship harms the actual number of people, the counting of the people in the state uh, or in the nation, then that's what I would say is the difference between okay. need to and nice to. Right. And so uh, obviously those who oppose this question say in some way they fear that people who are here illegally will not answer the question. Justice Gorsuch no. brought that up today. He said um, on this theory that the question being on the forum makes people not want to fill it out. He said this. We have a whole bunch of states that say, in fact, the break off rate or meaning those who don't finish the form because of that question at that question is something like 0.36%. So he was saying today that, you know, the evidence doesn't show, we don't have hard data that shows that people don't answer the question because of their status. Well, I suspect that uh, data was driven uh, maybe before 1950. I would check the date that that was uh, found, that data was discovered. We are in the midst of a very high volatile, very political, and for many people, a very scary time for immigrants, legal and illegal. Keep in mind that question of citizenship affects people that are here legally, mm -hmm. but not citizens. Would they want to be counted? Uh, is there a visa, is there a student visa about to expire? All of those kinds of questions will come into the minds of a person filling it out. And so I suspect that that 0.3 percent uh, had something to do with a different time in America's uh, evolvement. Well, and, and I think that, as the court often does, they may send this back to you because they noted today, um, mm -hmm. we said Justice Kavanaugh, he said this in the arguments today, why doesn't Congress prohibit the asking of citizenship questions in the same way that Congress has explicitly provided that no one can be compelled to provide religious information? The statute that Congress has passed gives huge discretion to the Commerce Secretary how to fill out the form and what to put on the form. So he says, listen, Congress has cracked down on questions they don't think should be asked. Do you foresee that Congress can get involved with this particular question? Well, we should. We should get involved. And, but the underlying issue is there, do you have to fill out everything on the form? I suspect that many people do not fill out everything on the form for any number of reasons, uh, personal embarrassment or, or whatever. Uh, or they may not uh, be perfectly accurate uh, as they are filling out the form. So I think, once again, is this particular question necessary uh, for and for what purpose is it needed? Uh, if it has to do with uh, legal or illegal, uh, I'm not at all sure that the data will be correct. Mm -hmm. If it simply says citizenship, keep in mind people, probably some who are working right there at your uh, station or for Fox News, who are here on some sort of a visa, some sort of a work permit, and they would answer no, not a citizen, or would they even bother to fill out the form? Well, so why would you scare people away? Why would you not want to okay. do what is necessary, which is to get an accurate count of the number of people yeah in the United Which States. Which the administration says that's what they want. We'll see what the court decides. These forms have exactly. to be uh, to go out for printing this summer, and the uh, decision is due by late yep. June. So we'll see how it all comes together. Congressman, thank exactly. you for joining us to talk about it. Happy to be with you, Shannon.